What's up guys? Welcome back again to my channel and for today's video, we will be modeling this one of the masterpieces of League Architects. So this is a museum located in Switzerland. So before we get started, gusto ko po muna magbigay ng shoutout. So shoutout po kay Lizzie Lorraine Adalet. So she is my friend, so thank you so much. So right here we are in Revit. So in this type of project, gagamitin ko po is architectural project. So bago, tayo, so, bago po natin uh, i-model, I suggest that you change the, first the units, unit project. So, you, we have two approaches to change the unit project. So, first, you either go here in Manage tab. And, you, and nakikita po natin dito is yung project units. Or, you can just go back in Architecture tab and just simply press the UN for shortcut. So here I will be using on the limits, but for you if you are comfortable in other units, feel free you can use uh, your preferred units. So for this one I will be using the millimeters. So now mag magagawa po tayo. Before natin um we, we plot, as I prefer using this reference point para meron tayong guidelines. Here, click here, from here. So I will be go here again in reference plane. And then set this in three thousand or three meters. So you click this, so you click this line and then press CS4 to eight similar. So click lines, give it an offset of three thousand. So, i-select natin itong uh, i-select natin itong three reference line natin and then press this middle pick axis or MM for short shortcut. So, since uh, selected na po at itong uh, three reference line natin, let's go here on press control and then select this another three lines. So go here and click command and then here copy because we can add a copy and then place here on center and then type right here. So we yeah, are na po tayong grid lines na magiging guide natin. So, go here on detail line. So, DL for shortcut. So, start na natin i-plot yung uh, spiral. So, choose this radius arc. Start from here to there. Arc from from here to there. Here, and um, yeah, and then select this again. Click on the Oops. Click SD or press SD key, and then click po ulit natin na radius arc. Here to here, and then same thing dito. And the So, plus lang natin yung straight key natin ng wise. So, mag ngayon, magagawa na po tayo ng floor. So, go here in architecture tab and then choose um, architectural floor. So, ang gagamitin ko po is yung ating thick lines. So, just simply pick this line, this one. And this line, same as here, and then this one. So use the straight elements para um, mahagay natin siya. So, and then use this uh, three more extend command. It's this one. So, 
hit finish. So, meron na tayo ngayong ating uh, first yung floor natin. Ayan yung floor. So, ito naman yung gagawin natin sa next. So, again, repeat the process. Choose this floor. Pick lines. And then, choose this line. Okay, this line. This one. This one. Then, this one. This string extend command. This one. So hit finish. So, uh, meron na po tayong uh, kompleto na yung ating floors. Pero kapag pumunta tayo sa uh, 3D, ayaw naman natin yung uh, para siyang nakalutang lang dito po. So, gagawin natin for this example, control ulit tayo sa floor. And then, choose this rectangle. And then, this one. And then, we create the boundary kasi baka mag-overlap to sa part na to. So, go here again in pick lines. This one. Then, hit finish. Ay, oops. Now, okay. So, use trimmer extend command. Hit finish. Here. So, ganito na po yung itsura niya natin kapag uh, uh, pumunta na tayo sa TV. So, so, para magawa natin yung uh, spiral na yung packet na spiral niya. So, you select the floor. So, this, select this floor and then modify sub-element. So, kapag gumamit po tayo ng modify sub-element, this tool, ina-allow niya tayo to manipulate the elevation of the selected point or element. In this case, we select this and change the elevation to 3,000 or 3 meters. And then, also this, this one, also change this into 3,000. So, then we can make it change. And then, we also edit this one. Green takes like siguro mga 4,000. Hmm. Oops. Nakasagaro siya. Try natin babaan ng 2,500. Medyo dito rin siya mataas. Ang babaan natin siya ng 2,000. Well, maybe 1,400. Yeah, looks better na siya. Go here and modify. Select this wall or this floor. And then, and then modify sub-element. Do the same thing. 3,000. And then select this point. This should be 3000 also. And this one should be 2500. And maybe 2,000. Okay. So, press the stick twice. And, meron na tayong so, ganito. So, now, maglalagay na tayo ng wall. So, go back tayo dito sa level 1. So, press the wall or WA for shortcut. And, ang nagamitin natin is the stall plot. And, nalagyan natin siya ng offset na 300 mm or 130 mm. 
So we use these thick lines. Um, so like these lines. Oops. Another one is also. So, kapag may ganitong graph, you can use the 3 more extend command. Oops. The 3 more extend command. It's this one. Wait a few seconds. Nagbala yung aking laptop. And then here, also this one. So, ito po yung uh, start. Since this, this is the starting ng ating run, kailangan natin siyang um, i-adjust kasi sasagsag siya. Yeah. 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 So, punta tayo sa 3D. Check natin kung ano ito. So, meron tayong ganito. And, nag-exceed masyado yung ating wall. So, um, ang gagawin natin, what we are going to do is tapat natin yung cursor, mouse natin dito, and then hit the tab key. And then, click. So, you go here on attach, tap, or base, and make sure it is on the choice tab. And you select this uh, wall. You just delete element. So, meron na tayong ganito. So, na-attach na yung ating wall sa floor. And let's do the same thing sa other floor natin. Yes, then here we go. We have model here. This architect spiral museum. You can turn on the shadows. So it looks nice and looks nice, amazing and cool. So guys, I think this this is this is it for um for our today's video. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It will help me out a lot para makapag-produce pa ng mga ganitong helpful videos. And guys, and if you want some um, informative Revit tutorial, you can check out Balkan Architect for uh, for Revit tutorials. And kung hindi nyo na po tatanungin guys, he is one of my inspiration para itayo itong channel na to. So guys, again, it's me, Diane Barike, and see you on my next video.